On one hand, capacity utilization of power plants are at cyclical lows, putting about 1.8 lakh crores worth of loans at risk. On the other, there's a huge power shortage as well, with many villages yet to be electrified. The gap clearly lies in distribution, and who better than that to discuss than Mr. I.S. Jha. He's chairman and managing director at Power Grid that transmits about 50% of the power generated in India. Mr. Jha, good morning, I mean, thanks for joining in. Uh, it's an interesting uh, flux, if I can call this situation to be in. If I look at the last five or six or ten years, we've moved on from a company that was hugely power deficit to a, con to a country that is largely, at least in the metros and urban cities, gotten enough power. The whole of India is electrified, and yet we have power plants that are, that are ailing. Now, w what's happening on ground, sir? Um, how, how do you believe FY19 could turn out as a year to be like for all parties concerned? Uh, good morning. Uh, you are right that uh, earlier we have been in the shortage situation all the time. But uh, if you see the last five, six years, situation has changed thanks to the Liberalization Electricity Act, when generation delicense and uh, project has more than one lakh megawatt project has been come up from IPPs. Uh, you can imagine that in last five years, one lakh megawatt has been commissioned. That is tremendous. Only the thing is that little bit negative thing also happened. One is that load could not grow up like what was expected. But uh, positive sign is, golden sign is, now for last one year, it is going up. In the last one year, it has seen the five to six percent growth, especially the northern India and eastern India like Bihar, UP. They have seen more than double-digit growth, and that is a very positive sign. Uh, I think uh, very soon the the golden era of power system is coming back. Interesting. Uh, actually, could you could you dwell on that for a bit, Mr. Ja? Um, we heard recent reports that. The power demand in states like Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, and maybe Chhattisgarh, if I'm not wrong, actually went up to the tune of 13, 14 percent. Now, is this because yeah. demand by and large went up, or is this because for the first time some of the areas in these states actually saw power availability, and therefore, on a year-on-year -year or a period-to-period -period comparison, the 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 power demand would actually look high simply because there are more people having access to power than what was the case earlier. No, you are right that uh, earlier power supply was less, I can say, and the, the government program of the household connection like uh, Sobhag, Sitai coming up, Din Dial all the things are coming, the, coming up. Uh, people are becoming very cautious, like you take the example of Bihar. In Bihar, the, this uh, household connectivity is going on for the last two, three years, and in 2014, the maximum demand of the Bihar was 2,000 megawatt, 2,000 to 2,500 megawatt. Uh, today it is the 5,000 megawatt in Bihar. Uh, that is a tremendous growth. Uh, most of the this growth is the residential. Similarly, you see the UP. UP has seen the tremendous growth, like 12 percent, 40 percent, because the now government is more committed to supply the power. There were one factor was uh, earlier that most of the distribution company was in loss. Uh, that's why they are sorting out to the load city because supplying power to the rural area, if your billing collection system is not good, then it is the lost business. Uh, that's why it, uh, this, it is DISCOM try to do that to save the money. But nowadays, a lot of pressure from the government to supply the 24 by 7 per supply, and naturally the demand will go up because this is a hidden, demand is hidden. Uh, as you know that even in India, so prosper country going to be very prosper. Today per capita consumption is still 1,500, uh, this 1,050 or 1,100 unit, uh, which is the one third of the world world uh, average. Uh, naturally, that a lot of growth is there, lot of potential is there. So, Only thing is, you have to supply it. Right. Uh, we have to make the distribution system perfect. Right, Mr. Jha, so where does all of this now lead power grid? Your, your capex uh, as of last year was fairly high. I think you've uh, announced FY19 capex plan of 25,000 crores. Um, 
my question to you would be how does all of this uh, mean for business what's your current order book how do you expect it to grow over the course of the next uh, well, nine or ten odd months in the current financial actually uh, transmission is a very critical element in, in the entire power supply chain and it is so critical it is required whenever some generation comes it is required when generation doesn't come like uh, you have seen the last three four years what happened that Earlier, we have the good transmission system, but we don't have the lot of flexibility. Like Chhattisgarh, a lot of generation has come up. Uh, they are meant to supply the power to Western region. But at a time, Western region faced the surplus situation, while Southern region was facing the shortage. Uh, then, naturally, we don't have the transmission, did not have the transmission system. Now, in last two years, we have implemented number of transmission systems. You can imagine that in last three years, we have commissioned the project, capitalized the project, worth 90,000 crore project. As a result, the, we have a very strong national grid. Power can transfer from here to anywhere. There is no congestion. And uh, that has resulted in cheaper power, like, uh, like Delhi. They don't want power from the nearby station, which is costly. They want power from the distant Chhattisgarh because it is cheaper because of transmission. That's why this transmission is very important. And uh, like uh, earlier, uh, uh, right now we have the project order book up near about 90 to 95,000 crores. And we have already done the 30,000 crore expenditure. Means we have to do 60,000 crore expenditure in already project in hand, which is already ongoing in next two years and two and a half years means our capex order will be near about 25,000 to 26,000 crore every year at least. And that will continue. Interesting. Uh, what's the update on the consultancy business in the overseas market, Mr. Ja? Is there a pickup there? Hello. Yeah. Uh, as I mentioned that uh, Power Grid has the order book of 90,000, 95,000. In addition to that, we are doing the consultancy job of 60,000 crore and in market, in because you know transmission is the now everything is come through competition, TBCB, we own the comp through competition. Uh, near about 4,000, 5,000 crore worth project is on tender and the most important is uh, the government is focusing on the renewable energy and in next, uh, by 2022, a hundred gigawatt need to be added. Though they are talking more, but hundred gigawatt is certain. Uh, for evacuating this hundred gigawatt, primary calculation says that seventy to eighty thousand crore scheme is required. Transmission crore scheme is required, which is under evaluation. Very soon it will be approved, and then it will be implemented under TBCB or cost plus. That, that I don't know. Uh, that will be decided. But in transmission. The number of projects are coming up, uh, costing around 70 to 80,000 crores for renewable energy. Interesting. Mr. Jha, my final question really, for, more from a market's perspective, of, uh, I mean, we'll talk of course post your numbers as well, but I think one expectation or one belief that uh, the sell side by and large has um, is that the earnings compounding story for power grid would continue at a steady clip and dividends could actually step up over the course of the next two years. Are both of these estimates more or less reasonable? Yeah, uh, actually what happened the earlier we did not, we have the huge capex, internal resources were not sufficient, that's why we are paying dividend, less dividend. But since last, last year, we have uh, given the, uh, whatever the government norms is there, which is the 30, percent of a pat or something like that. We are paying, I will continue to pay because we are, our uh, grow, uh, income, our turnover growth is going to be strong as usual. Uh, that's why uh, you are right that uh, dividend etc. will be uh, right direction it will go. Whatever we have paid last year, same type of percentage will be paid in next year also. Okay, so, but it, it won't go up. It will be at par, which is a good number. But you're not planning to on stepping up the percentage outflow of dividend? No, no, because we have a lot of capex. Sure. 
Yeah, 25,000 crores. Capex is also, the is also very important for the country and the, the, the yeah, yeah. True. 25 oh. to 26,000 crores. Okay, interesting. Mr. Jab, uh, great talking to you. I know you're in a silent period, so you can't talk too many numbers. Maybe we'll talk about these numbers post your earnings. But thank you so much for taking the time out today and joining us and speaking to us.